I've got another fun crafty TikTok try for you today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. You've caught me in the middle of a little series where I'm trying things that I've seen on TikTok and today is a crafty one. So to do this little DIY today, I picked up three things from the Dollar Tree. I got one of their big cylindrical candles, a cute bowl that I liked. They have a whole variety there to choose from, as well as some of these scented wax melts. Now you can do a different type of scent add-in today. They come in little jars in liquid form, but I figured today I would try the little wax melt ones. And we're pretty much going to melt a candle, melt the wax, and transfer the wick into the bowl and make a cuter candle for the price of, you know, three bucks. So not too shabby, especially if you are looking to make a personalized gift for a family member or friend. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is I heated up this very large pot of water. I don't know if you guys can see. It almost reaches the top of this votive candle and we're putting it in here. Again, it almost reaches the top. I anticipate that I'm going to have to like push the top if it doesn't melt, like push it down into the lower end of the candle, but we're gonna give this a go and just see how it goes. Also, sorry about the dishwasher. If it's too loud in the back, I apologize. So while that candle is starting to melt, I think it will take a while. I actually have an old candle container and what I'm gonna do is just throw these wax melts in there so that they can start getting melted. That way it will be easier to combine later on. Uh, if I didn't have this container, I could either use a different container to do this or wait until this candle has melted down and then drop these in and let them melt. So this will also give my candle some color, but if you don't have like a colorful thing or if you choose to use the liquid scents, you can always like break up a crayon and throw that in to make the candle any color that you want. So just keep that in mind. So the scent that I got for this one is coconut citrus and I thought that um, like I picked the scent out first and then I bought the bowl and I kind of felt like this bowl felt like a coconut citrus type of vibe to me. I don't know, does it to you? Uh, but like I said, they have a variety of bowls and I just kind of thought this was a nice clean scent. So let's melt these guys down. So I should just mention like, make sure you're careful. I'm using oven mitts when I'm dealing with the candles here, uh, cause I really don't want to hurt myself and I don't want you to get hurt. So wow, this candle is melting nicely. Uh, it still has a ways to go, but at least I know that it's working. And these guys have already melted just a little bit. So looks like we're on the right track. Now I'm gonna be holding these guys in here just because I don't want them to like knock over and like spill out wax and make a big mess. So you might as well get a nice little show on your iPad or something and watch that while you wait. All right, just checking in here at the time. These guys are nice and melty. The other candle, which I'm not holding, probably should be, let's see. Nicely melting, but still needs a lot more time. I'm gonna take the green ones out and just kind of swirl them and maybe that will help them melt a little bit quicker. Okay, another little update. It looks like the top of the candle is dropping down. So I may just reach in there and try to save the wick before it gets like fully submerged. But in case it gets stuck, I had a little popsicle stick ready to like push it to free it from the sides. So keep that in mind if you're doing this and it gets stuck on top. Alrighty, so I'm gonna try to reach in and grab the wick. And this is all that's left, so it might be soft enough for me to kind of like crumble it off and free the wick by hand. All right, let's give this a try. It's not too hot. I'm just gonna break off little pieces and drop them in so that they continue to melt. The inside of the wax seems like more crumbly than the top layer. Not exactly sure why. It's like like powdery, like snow. A little messy, that's okay. I'm hoping that the uh, heat of the melted wax will get this totally off or make it more easily, make it easier for me to 
take it off myself. In the meantime, it's working to stir in those final pieces which still need to melt. Kind of clean up the counter here while I'm at it. And I don't think I'll be needing the hot water, so I'm gonna turn off the flame. And then we're almost done. So now that the wick is freed, I'm gonna heat up my hot glue gun. And while we are at it, oh no, this looks like it's hardened up a little bit. I'm gonna melt this and mix it in with the other wax. Okay, the wick is freed again. Hot glue is hopefully warm. And we're gonna secure this to the bottom of the bowl and just kind of let that firm up. Unplug the glue gun because we don't want it to totally be ruined. And I'm gonna add my green wax to the white and give it a good mix. I also have a little pop, uh, not popsicle stick, a chopstick here and I'm going to wrap my candle wick around that just to kind of keep it steady as I pour the wax in. And once it's dry, I'm gonna trim it off. So now we're gonna pour the wax in and let's see how high it comes up in the bowl. Okay, so it goes about like halfway up the bowl. I would say if you want it to go all the way up to the top, you probably need two of these cylindrical candles, but this will still make for a good candle, I think. So I actually have another candle and I'm gonna go ahead and make it using this liquid, the apple cinnamon, and I'm gonna use a coffee mug from the Dollar Tree for that one. Okay, so I recently finished my coffee mug one and I've let it kind of cool. It's still firming up a bit and I put like one red crayon, but I don't think it melts it all the way. One of the votive candles, like again, only went half up on the mug. So if you're using mugs or bowls, I would say use two candles if you want it all the way to the top. But again, a cute little mug, it works just as well if you want like half of a candle, totally fine. Now the cool thing about these is like you could decorate it and make like a cute little candle type saying like, you are my the light of my life or you know whatever or make it based on the scent and you can really personalize this gift for a friend so i can smell the apple cinnamon i think it's probably subtle but once i start burning it maybe i'll be have a different thoughts on that but i'm really happy with how these guys turned out i should also mention that since it only fills it up halfway you could probably do like two different scents if you really wanted to so it's kind of a good thing that it doesn't go up all the way, if you know what I mean, because you can just like not have to worry about pouring half the wax out and scenting the other half and scenting the first half once you pour it in. It just makes it a little bit easier just to do like one candle, add the scent once it's melted and then do the other one. So keep that in mind. There is a positive that it doesn't go all the way up. You can do multiple scents and maybe multiple colors as well. So my goal of doing this is to get all of the wax at the bottom to the top so I can use it and not lose it. Then we can use this for easy bases. We can sp spray paint and decorate that way. So just in summary, I would use two of the cylindrical candles for either a mug or a bowl from Dollar Tree. And I would double up or triple up on the scents. They both were very subtle. And if you like a stronger scented candle, you definitely want to use more of the scents. If you go ahead and take my advice and use two candles when making these now customized candles, you will have two wicks left over and that will actually be better as well because you can burn most of the wax in a wider bowl like this one. And that's it. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today on my Trying TikToks series. I'd like to invite you to subscribe if you guys are new and give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.